السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين الصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين in the name of Allah the most gracious the most merciful the cherisher the nourisher and the sustainer of the worlds salat and salam peace and salutations be upon his beloved prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam it's an honor a great honor indeed to be part of your magazine releasing ceremony at Bukhari College. So it's my privilege to be allowed to talk to you young, smart, handsome, creative people of uh, Bukhari College. I'm unable to be there in person this time. I'm so sorry nor are you able to gather in your beautiful campus this time. Okay, anyway, you are doing this time it online and you are a wonderful people. I came there, I, I think a year ago or one or two years ago, I was there attending some art auditory competition inauguration ceremony in your campus. You guys are amazing. Ever since I came there and visited, I felt like coming back, going back to you, to the campus. It was so nice to be there in your campus last time uh, that I feel like always coming back. So next time when your gates are open up and you're back in the campus, if for some other reason or other, I'm going to be there with you. Then we will have some good time together. You guys are amazing. Your hospitality is superb your manners and etiquettes are fascinating guys keep it up brothers uh, by the way pay more attention into acquiring leadership and life skills uh, required for excelling in the post-covid new normal world and uh, learn how to become 21st century global citizens People say that uh, good old days of imaginations, creativity, writing, all gone. But I don't believe so. I don't think so. People say no romantic age is going to come back. No good old good great authors are, you know, all the like of them going to be born back again here anyone like that but i say that's stupid to believe that i believe that this age where you and i are living now with all the limitations still is more inspiring more conducive and more supportive no anyone can try some creativity or the other you can try your books to order a book to write a good article try to publish magazines doesn't matter you have to do it in paperback on paperback it could be real book or it could be online so it's all about Finding the real person inside you. What are you sent here for? You have come to this world. Are you going to leave this world a better place? You need skills. You need to build yourself up. Education is not about acquiring knowledge, preparing for exams having bundles of certificates. If the man, if the person is not of quality, what's the use the paper going to carry him? Is he going to be better employable? Is he going to be, uh, uh, going to be of any benefit for the humanity just carrying knowledge? It's mainly education is mainly about the three components. Is knowledge, skill, and attitude. 
not just knowledge. So you need to have skills. The skills, you know, you may not be able to start developing once you leave the campus. You've got to start right now. You have platforms like this magazine of yours. You have opportunities like multiple events that are taking place in your campus. You have an audience sitting right in front of you. Your colleagues, I mean your classmates, your uh, fellow students in the campus, your juniors, your seniors. You have plenty of them ready to listen to you, watch you performing. So make the best out of this opportunity, my friends. Start building you up. You can be great authors. The world is still looking for people like you. See, as Toni Morrison, one of the authors once said, if there is a book that you want to read, but not available or not written yet, then you must go and write it. You know what I mean? You feel like reading a particular book. There is, you know, such a great grand book, not yet written. Don't wait, go and write it. Yeah? And uh, side, you know, hand in hand with all those literary artistic skills that you are developing. Humanitarian activities. Outreach programs. Reaching out to the fellow human beings. That is important as well. Being able to write is like having a second birth. You live your life, you study, you learn, you have experiences, you have feelings. You and I have our stories. You have your story to tell. I have my story to tell as well. But being able to express it most attractive way by choosing the right set of words with the right phrases, with the right mindset, with that punch. When you do that, you're actually reliving yourself. You have a second birth at a time. You're two in one. So my friends, either... As uh, Benjamin Franklin once said, either write something that's worth reading or do something that's worth writing. You know what I mean? Write something that is worth reading or do something that other people will write about it. Okay? Be worthy of your deeds. This is what you need to work on. So my friends, it's a great time to flourish yourself, to bud, to emerge and come, go out to the world and conquer it. Being a global citizen is not that easy. But if you set that as your goal, you will be able to do that. The one day world is yours. Don't limit yourself to a small geographical unit of your own village or your own state, district or state or even the wider country. Or not limit yourself even to a subcontinent. Note your continent. The entire world can be yours. You need certain skills that need to work on. For example, Language, English, being a global language, being able to communicate pretty well is like having a global passport. In this globalized world, the whole globe is on the palm of your hand. You can pick and choose where you want to go, where you want to live, where you want to flourish, where you want to serve, what community, what ethnicity, what nationality you want to serve. You need to have the medium of communication. Good English. So is Arabic. Lucky you. Your college offers you lessons in Arabic. 
you get opportunities to interact with people, the native speakers of Arabic. Make use of it. This is the time that you need to develop yourself. So my brothers, work on your dreams. Have dreams. Work on it. Keep working hard, smart, alone, combined in group, in person, online. You or maybe in the campus or off the campus, at your pace, at your convenience, you know, keep on learning and developing yourself. Sometimes if you attempt today, we are talking about creative writing. Creative writing in the sense you have displayed, demonstrate your skills in your magazine. This magazine is an English magazine this time and focusing on poems, poetry as a specific genre. And uh, you are one of the contributors. Sometimes, you know, authors come across this, that's a called the writer's block. You feel you're stuck. The paper still remains, the page remains blank in front of you. You're going through extreme isolation within the confines of the four walls of your room. You started doubting yourself, am I able to do that? Anxiety over things not coming. You're waiting for the inspiration to come down on you. The revelation. <laughs> As uh, one of the philosophers and writers, uh, uh, Dan Poina, he once said, if you wait for inspirations to write, you're not a writer, you're a waiter. <laughs> Don't wait for the inspiration, the ideas to come. You start doing it. You can do that. Pick up the pen, find a place, and you find a theme that you're going to write on, and you start on. Then you can redo it. You can chisel it, you can stain paper it, you can polish it. And you, if you're not happy, crunch the paper, throw it, chuck it in the bin, chuck it in the rubbish and redo it all. Go through the same experience all over again. Who knows, next time you're going to come up with that masterpiece of yours. Nothing happens with next sunrise. It takes time. In, it takes efforts. You need to put your effort in. So my dear students and uh, people behind this beautiful magazine, you are doing a wonderful job. Keep working on it. Next time, try to take it to the next level. Okay? Don't be afraid. Fear is not a contributing factor for writing. All you need is, you know, you have the talent. We know you have the knowledge. And these days, you don't have to have the knowledge. You can refer widely, deeply. You can browse online. So many things. It doesn't mean that you can go and plagiarize someone's thoughts. Someone's intellectual properties, you do it and you paraphrase and you present it as yours. No, you don't have to. You have your story to tell. You have your experience. You're living your life. Bring clarity to your thought. Bring, bring clarity to the words, the diction, the words you're picking. And you will be able to bring out really marvelous creations. We are waiting for you. Who knows you're going to be the next uh, uh, great author. I visited Shakespeare's birthplace along with Dr. Azahari, Abdul Hakim Azahari. Last year, I reckon. Yeah. Last year, Dr. Azahari and I went to UK 
and during in our start schedule we found time to visit Shakespeare's birthplace at Stratford upon Avon in the outskirts of London. We visited every inch of it. The room he was born. The bathtub he was baptized, where he used to think, where he used to other. Why do you think the world still remembers Shakespeare? Why should people from across the world travel to see just his birthplace? What is in day? There is inspiration. There is lesson. There were so many more brilliant, talented people in the UK and Britain lived there and died. Go to the Kabarstan, the graveyard, the cemetery. Someone said that's the richest place in the world, the cemetery. Why? You see the treasures unearthed. Hundreds of thousands of people are lying underground. And they met with their death having not achieved anything that they were capable of. They had the skills. They had the brains. They had the opportunities. And the opportunities knocked on their door and they slept off all their life and they passed away. Their skills gone with them. Their stories gone with them. Untold stories. Hundreds of them. Everyone. They never told it. They never wrote it. And they're gone. So that's the reason why someone called the richest place on the surface of this earth is the cemetery, is the graveyard. Before we leave, leave something behind, something valuable, something that sustains, something that reminds even after you Hundreds of thousands of years after, if humanity still remains, if you have contributed to the world something of the artistic beauty in writing that will remind. If Shakespeare's Othello, Macbeth still read, acted, and reenacted on stages after stages. Why? That's the power of words. That's the power of writing. So my dear friends at Bukhari, you guys are amazing. I know you have certain goals in your life. With the right mindset, with the right effort, relentless effort, you're going to be able to do that. So, looking forward to meeting you when the campus reopens and joining you for some great events and we will be interacting. Just looking on this uh, cam, right in the camera and speaking to this glass top, you know, I don't feel much energized. But I can still see the energy day in your hearts. So, keep that light on. Keep the spark, you know, blow on this. Don't blow off. Lit the sparks into flames. Come out. Speak those who can speak. Write those of you who are able to write. Demonstrate and present those who can do that. In different ways, you can display yourself. You can come to fruition. Thank you. All the best. And I declare this uh, magazine release today. And it's an honor to be part of this magazine releasing ceremony. Thank you once again. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us what is good in this world, what is good in the hereafter. And save us all from the torment of Jahannam. May Allah 
increase us in our knowledge, our understanding, our wisdom, our piety, and all those good things. May Allah send His, you know, showers of blessings. And may Allah's bounty blessings be in plenty upon you. وَآخَرَ دَعْمَنَا نِلْحَمْدَ لِلَّهِ رَبِّ الْعَالَمِينَ